Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the stream. It's your host, Physics. Hope you're all doing well today. And we're going to run through some more price action in the crypto markets. Let's see what we got going on today. So Bitcoin yesterday closed at its new all-time high. Only to see... Actually, that was two days ago. Sorry. Closed at its new all-time high two days ago. Yesterday, on yesterday's candle, it uh, had a big wick down, but recovered most of those losses and uh, closed at the top of the candle with a little tiny wick on the top. But we did not exceed our previous high from the day before. So, we're still looking okay. I said before, if you check a look at the four hour chart, I had put a little bit of support in this area, but I ended up deleting it. I actually had it right here. I mean, that's, that's exactly where we ended up hitting anyways. I just went off the bodies of these candles here. And a couple over here they with the wig kind of hit the body there and another two bodies there but we, we we went down touched it it was pretty much exactly 55k and we I was saying that we could possibly hit this 236 fib retrace at 54,584 uh, it's still it's still possible we're not out of the uh, woods yet we have to get back above this this line right here we gotta keep pushing past it because we got some uh, bearish divergence playing out here that could send us back down to I don't know these levels here possibly back in the low 50 thousands so hopefully we can get back above the all-time high and really make a run for it push into that 618 and the uh, 786 Fibonacci area However, the altcoins have really been taking a beating through this. Uh, uh, let's check. I know er earlier, I'm on NFTs. I know earlier. How is this? Why is flow number one? What the hell just happened? Look at this. Look at flow's market cap. What just happened? What is going on? What? This is so wild. Well, I guess Flo just overtook Bitcoin. We got the flippening. Oh. Yeah, so uh, we got a new number one coin here. It is Flo out of the NFT sector. <laughs> yeah, something's definitely wrong here. There might have been a hack or something. Uh... I don't know what's going on with that. I just seen that now. But uh, that's why I thought it was in the NFTs. But anyways. Yeah, now I am. Uh, but Bitcoin went down about 1%. And it just caused these altcoins to take a beating today. I mean. Look at that. Ethereum down 4%. Bitcoin was only down 2 Binance down 10 88, 10, a lot of them, you know, are, are reacting pretty bad off of when Bitcoin's selling off here. They're not holding up at all. I don't know if that's a sign of uh, a Bitcoin run up, a Bitcoin sell off, uh, people taking profits. They don't know what it, what's going to happen right now, but just, just watch the market close and see how this all plays out. But I think we're still good. If we stay in this range, keep consolidating. We kind of got a little double top, which I don't, I don't like those too much. But uh, we just stay in this range, and we can, if we can push past this uh, 57, 57,500, we'll be looking good, and, and hold above that and break the all-time high, which we still have yet to do, from February 21st. Uh, 
let's take a look at ooh, look at look at sushi right now running it got back in that see I was talking yesterday it got back in that parallel channel and we hit about 20 bucks uh, I, as soon as we started closing in this channel you know you're gonna run probably at back up to this midline here and uh, if we can stay hanging out here and close above it you know you're gonna go back to the top of this channel most likely and the further the longer it takes in these candles the higher the uh, price goes we could be breaking all-time highs here on uh, sushi which was twenty dollars and seventy nine cents we hit on this candle here twenty dollars and sixty so just keep a watch on sushi it's looking pretty good now that it's closing back in this channel uh, but now we gotta stay above this midline and not come back down out of it because if we get rejected out of here most likely gonna see uh, something in this level here around seventeen dollars is possible yeah seventeen to eighteen dollars let's go that's it's up three and a half percent not bad not bad sushi let's check ETH it's in this little downward channel after this bull flag it's in the man. Uh, oops. So we are closing. We're really testing this uh, 1750 support line I have drawn. We're going down the midline of the parallel channel. Not liking it too much here on Ethereum. If this breaks down, we can easily go back and see 1417 at the 786 retrace. If we break down out of this channel, uh, I mean 1575, a little bit of support there. Nothing crazy though, just a little bit on the four hour. Nothing, nothing overwhelmingly uh, supporting on there. It might just stop there for a second. That could be a spot to uh, look to uh, take take your losses if <laughs> if it breaks back down below there. Because you're going to go see 1420 area. But we're just really waiting on Bitcoin to see if it can break that all time high. Uh, I, on the new day, Ethereum is actually doing a little better than Bitcoin. It's only down 1.4% compared to Bitcoin 1.6. So they're, it's almost like they're starting to reverse now these altcoins. Some of them, not, not all of them, on their... Uh, how they're holding up against Bitcoin selling off. Just hoping to get back above that midline on this parallel channel. Things would be looking good then. Uh, let's check this. Uh, where did it go? Looking for this NFT that sold for $69 million. Pretty crazy. Where'd it go? Maybe it was on a coin desk. Man, all these articles were just down here. Now they're gone. There it is. Crypto investor Meta Kovan announced as buyer of 69.3 million Beeple NFT. Wow. There it is back there in the background. <laughs> it's just a collage of uh, different art that I believe the artist has made. But the Tron owner or CEO was actually bidding on it and this guy beat him out I think at the last second he w it was like bidding at like 60 million and, and he put in one for 69 just said I'm getting this pretty crazy the uh, NFT art digital art is just 
going absolutely nuts right now. I mean, flow's number one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, flow's number one cryptocurrency now. <laughs> Pretty wild, but yeah, these NFTs, they're I don't, they just are not slowing down. They don't care right now. One of them's red, two of them red. The others are up 10, 20, 30, 100 percent. It's just going absolutely crazy right now. Bitcoin's still selling off. Man, as soon as that new day started, it didn't even get the chance to go up any. It just, it didn't even go up from the open. It opened at 57.297, the high is 57.297. So we just haven't even gotten a chance to go be in the green yet today. Plenty of time left on the day though. You, it, it's you might come back and see 55k who knows just uh, watch hope that don't happen sushi already coming back down a little bit from that little pump uniswap I mean everything's kind of just sitting waiting on Bitcoin to see what happens see GRT sold off big time Broke that ascending triangle, then it just came back down and it broke down. You might be seeing the 786 here soon at a dollar fifty-eight. It's pretty wild how uh, all these alts are selling off so hard. Everyone's taking profit. Uh, engine still looking strong. Look at this just crazy no stopping these nfts right now nothing it's got positive momentum building back up again histograms going dark green it's yeah these these nfts they're just pumping Also today, MicroStrategy, if I can find this article now, I believe MicroStrategy bought another 15 million, yeah, forget buying the dip, MicroStrategy buys... 15 million of Bitcoin as it nears all time high. They bought it at like 57,000. 57,146 dollars. They bought 15 million more Bitcoin, which is 262 Bitcoin. So they are definitely thinking Bitcoin is not at its top yet. They're still buying it, not even on the dip. They're buying it on the pump. They don't give a shit. They are just. Yeah. They started, they pretty much started this whole bull run when they first came into the uh, crypto space and started buying Bitcoin. That's crazy. Their average Bitcoin price is 24214 Yeah. They're buying the pump. <laughs> They're FOMO buying. No. Well, let's check some more of these. Let's see what's going on here with Flow. Any news? Like, what is happening right now? This is crazy. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand, million, billion, trillion, whatever comes after a trillion. <laughs> this is insane. Someone, they must have got hacked and uh, someone must have uh, minted a bunch of coins because this is insane.
Hmm. Yeah, I can't find nothing. I don't know. There's nothing in this new section here. Yeah, something must have just happened. Or it's just a glitch. Bitcoin still selling off. Thanks, film agent. Love the thumbnail. Trying to get a little better at this. Uh, <laughs> still, still learning. Still need a new mic. It's pro I don't know how bad my audio is. Sorry if my uh, audio is terrible, but work in progress here. So bear with me. Yeah, Bitcoin's still selling off on the new day. I wouldn't be surprised if we came back to the this line here, maybe tested it again, 55K. But most likely we could possibly stay around the, the 56K range. Don't really know what's going on. It's It's... It's a really uh, hard, <clears throat> hard to know if it's going to go up or down right now. There's not too much signals going on right now. We need a few more candles to see what's going on. And now we have a little bit of the light green going on in the histogram for on the daily. <clears throat> Got some negative momentum building. Not, not, not the greatest. So, yeah. Back to the four hour. Not bad. If anyone's watching, if you want to see any coins, just say it in the chat. I'll be happy to look at them. <clears throat> if not, I'm just going to kind of hang out. Look at some coins. Wow, 88 really sold off. Now, it, it, yeah, wow. Wow. Next target, 93 cents for ADA. Dang. I just couldn't get back in that channel and broke down. Kind of hung out at the 786 for a few candles, came up, tried to go back above it, couldn't hold. Dang, we got a lot of consolidation here, though, in this area. A lot of, a lot of consolidation there. Look at all those wicks and just doji candles all along this line. Pretty nuts. Couldn't hold it, so we're going back down to about 90, 94 cents. Don't be surprised if we go to 94 cents on ADA. could not get back into the channel that's it on the daily even the daily had dojis jeez lots of uh gonna, it's gonna be some decent resistance there now coming back up at the dollar 12 area on cardano <clears throat> Had a nice little run, but uh, that's over now. Put 
check ocean this had a nice run it's see it's come back to this dollar 29 which was where I had my support set from these previous candles where this first all-time high was and then close and then on the four hour and then where the second one was just a little below it and now we're coming back wicking down testing it coming down for another time might be breaking through now which I'll see you at dollar seventeen most likely just simple simple support and resistance lines looking where the candle bodies and wicks are seeing where it touches the most of them at the peak of the wick or at the uh, the body close that's another little zone right here dollar fourteen so you got like a dollar seventeen dollar fourteen area as your next support and resistance lines on the ocean to the USD let's check ocean to BTC because that had a lot of room to run I wonder what it's looking like now ooh ugly very ugly it hit that hit that uh, resistance line I had set up from its previous little area right here where there's a lot of confluence and a lot of body closes a lot of wicks it hit that and bounced off but we had some also some bullish divergence playing it, it, it went but it's already back down in the negative momentum on the histogram on the MACD so not looking too good for ocean probably gonna see some continued downside there let's check uh, ETH BTC in the chart real quick whoa yeah not good not good for ETH not good that is not looking good I'll check dot right after this I just want to check ETH the BTC and show you its next target we're at it, its next target to the downside you always got the 786 but I like to take a little better look which would oof. Probably be somewhere in this area at the 0 0.026 so we're talking almost a 10% swing on the ETH to BTC chart if this downside keeps playing out we even got while well, we even got a bearish divergence developing I think it's just classic maybe some classic divergence developing nothing not good uh, could possibly see a 10% dip here in the uh, ETH the BTC pre premium. Oh man, that is ugly. It tried. It tried right here, but it didn't even come close to coming up. It wasn't even close. On the four hour you had. Yeah not good look at that on the four hour it went down it, it came up it didn't come up too far <laughs> it's already breaking back down let's check dot someone wanted to see dot we'll go to the the day daily first down in two different sections so we got the daily it's not looking bad on the daily actually <clears throat> it's still in a continued uptrend here on the daily oops So once it breaks through this little uptrend line, we're going to be talking probably this area would be your next target at 17 cents. That'd be crazy. There's got to be some more support before that. Maybe, maybe 27, but it ain't too much. <clears throat> Not too much support there maybe 31 
a little bit. It, it could kind of hold in this area here, 31 to 27, 28, I guess, 31 to 28 dollars. If it breaks past this line, we could we could wick wick down into here, maybe close somewhere, maybe in the, the 31 to 28 dollar range. Um, but if Bitcoin keeps selling off, these alts are going to fall even harder. Check the four hour. It doesn't look bad. It's setting a higher highs. Look, came down. We had a kind of the three three rising. I don't want to call it a valley. It's not really a valley, but just three rising lower lows, I guess, or higher lows. Came up, went down, set a higher low. Came up again, put a higher high in, and now it's setting a higher low. So it's not looking bad on the four hour. I don't get how my daily, how is that? How is there not one other wick touching my line on the four hour? That doesn't make sense. There should be at least one other wick up here that touched. But still in this little bit of an uptrend. I don't see much of a any type of triangle. I mean, there's a I guess a little bit of a supply line going on here. If you go like this, I wouldn't call it a triangle pattern. Just more of a supply line. If you break this supply line, jump over, jump the creek, you'd be looking to come start coming back up. But we also got this little bit of a trend line here. It's only touching two points, but it's it, it just in an upward trend right now. Maybe a, maybe a channel. Maybe we can see some uh, midlines. I don't think so, no. No, I think it can be much. No. Let's try this. That's a possibility, maybe, but also not looking the greatest because you went up, tested the top of the channel, if this isn't real, came up, just got past the midline, and then you're starting to break back down. But we got support here at 31-ish dollars. So, once again, waiting on Bitcoin. Are you going to break all time highs or not? Come on. Can you guys hear me good? I changed my audio capture to something else. To, I don't know if it's making a difference or not. Or do I just need to get a new mic? <laughs> Ave. Man, no, I mean, nothing's looking good right now. Nothing. There, I wouldn't even call that supply line. Man, they tried, crypto tried, but it's still making like a. I think I was saying with dot, right? Yeah. Still making a higher high, came up from here, came down, made a higher low. We're making a higher high, hopefully, making a higher low. <clears throat> as long as we don't go past 340, got about 10% more to spare. If we go down 10% more from here, not 10%, 7 maybe, 
$21, yeah, 7%, 7.5% from here. Yeah, so that's 6. Then we will not be making a higher low. Yeah, every move Bitcoin makes, these alts are just taking a deeper dive. Sushi's coming back up, nice. I just saw, and I think it was Coindesk, it had something on sushi being $100. Sushi swap seen at $100 value up fivefold from current level. And it could be valued at $100 using a traditional dividend discount model. Thirty-fold gain since November twenty twenty. What? I didn't know this. Recently, Sushi Swap initiated a process whereby a portion of trading fees across the platform platform are tr paid out to token holders. Whoa, so that's why we're getting a little pump here. Interest markets have a plan. So you're getting like, I guess, crypto dividends from holding sushi? It initiated a process whereby a portion of trading fees across the platform are paid out to token holders. Hmm, pretty cool. I wonder if Flow is still the number one crypto right now. Yes, it is. The number one crypto over whatever's after a trillion is what Flow is. What comes after a trillion? Quadrillion. <laughs> Hundred thousand. Thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion. So yeah, we're looking at a quadrillion dollar crypto. Pretty pretty wild. Oh look at that. Uh, Coin market cap added ETH dominance to the top here. I just noticed that. It's pretty cool. We got BTC and ETH dominance now. I'm just curious to know what happened with flow. I don't see any news on here. Nothing about like a, someone hacked it, minted some coins or what happened. Pretty nuts. Yeah, these NFTs though, I mean, you can just throw a dart and it appears you're just going to make 100% gains right now. Is it too late to, to hop in? Could be. Could be a bubble waiting to pop. Well, now, now, ETH, now ETH is down more than Bitcoin on the day. It was it was holding its own a little bit, but we are now seeing it trend below Bitcoin. Okay. And if anyone's got any other coins they'd like to take a look at, just post them in the chat. We'll get a nice look at them. Get some analysis going. Not, I'm just going to continue looking at some random coins here. Let's 
Let's check Litecoin. That's one I hardly look at. Wow. Not bad. Look at that. In a nice little probably you can get a parallel channel out of that. And a nice parallel channel here. I'll put it right here. Whipped out of it. Testing that midline after just breaking above it. We could see 228 again. You could very well see 228 once again. It's holding up very strong relative to Bitcoin and what it's been doing. It's not acting like the other altcoins at all, where they're just taking a nosedive. You know? Oh, not gonna go back. I believe there's a harmonic on this chart too, but I'm not the best at harmonics. Still learning, you know, how to chart them and XABDCs. Say B C D. <laughs> I think it'd be something like this. Get your A get your B. Get your C. I think this is how it is. I'm not sure. Maybe a seven eight six. Right in that area. So, I mean, you're just at the top of the harmonic. If that's it, I, I, I'm not sure. I know there's, I watched another YouTuber and there's one on his chart. Just not exactly sure how to chart them. Just yet. Hey, what's up, Kino? Yeah, ADA, not looking good. Most likely going to see 94 cents. Tomo had a nice run. Coming back down to reality now. Let's check the Tomo to BTC. Ugh, ugly. It's back down where it came. It's at 3,864 Satoshis and it hit 5,800. And it just hit that and just went down. Just went up and went down. Straight down. Flow is still the number one crypto at over 100 quadrillion dollars. Fire sale for the ADA. Yes, it is. Yeah, ADA. I mean, you're looking at 94 cents. That's its next spot. I guess it's really anywhere in this region 90 to 94 cents even coming down to 87 so we're, we're gonna look at this right here 94 to 87 cents would be your little target area of hopefully some support you could probably wick down into here wick past here you can probably catch it on a wick if you set a limit order. Catch it on a wick at about like 80, 83 cents. Just to short, just to front run it. If it does, yeah, you might be able to catch that. 
Bitcoin still selling off. 56,141 at the lows, pretty much at the lows of the day. 56,080 is the low on the new day. We can probably come back down here and touch this, maybe go to 54.5. Hopefully it holds. If not, we're going back to the low 50Ks. Man, that would suck. But it got, got rejected up the all time high. Uh, yes, I think 88 is going to 94 cents. That is his next. That's the next resist or the next support really on anything. If you look on ADA through here, there's nothing really. It's just open air right now on the chart from this from these recent run up. There's not really much to hold it up above the 94 cent area. 95, you know. Most likely gonna see 94. Check out Binance BNB. Not doing as bad as a lot of these other alts, but still selling off, but not as drastically. Check out Link. Ooh. I broke out of this massive triangle, which somehow gave it a target of forty-four dollars. That didn't count. That didn't happen. Now we're probably back below this line here now, or we're probably right on it. Yeah, look at that. We're on this downward trend line bouncing off it like pretty much exact uh, actually go right there yeah bouncing off that trying to hold it and hmm got the most touches right there but maybe maybe a parallel channel but it's breaking down out of it if we break keep breaking down we're going back to my previous support line here at $25.50 on link which we have some pretty good support here at the $25 area. Good amount of support there to hold it. That'd be its next stop if it breaks down through this little trend line here. Doge still holding strong at five and a half cents. Jeez, jeez, cheese. Holy crap. CHZ. This was like number 36 yesterday. Wow. It was number like 35, 36 in market cap yesterday, and it's still rallying. Hasn't even gone down. Hasn't even thought about going down. Jeez. On the new day, it's already up 
Look at this. From the beginning of this little rally back in uh, March 11th. What? March 11th. Yesterday. Yesterday it's gone up. 200%. No way. Since yesterday. At the price right now it's gone up 200%. At the top of this wick. It's 270%. Wow. From March 8th. Till right now it's already gone up 520%. 647 there. Holy. Wow. These NFTs are just, they're broken. Wow. Seven days, 610% in seven days. Chromia, 728%. You would have made seven times your money seven days ago if you bought this. It's, it's nuts. These NFTs are just going up. What's Chromius? Ticker? CHR. Yeah. It even, it even came down and recovered already. If you would have bought this on March 7th, You'd be up 675% times your money. Put in $1,000, you'd have $6,000 right now. Wow. Well, nobody's got nothing left to look at in the chat. I think I'm going to be heading out. Bitcoin chilling at 56 the mid 50 uh, we just got to hold on here and uh, hopefully this negative momentum doesn't keep growing <clears throat> and we can break this all-time high and push up to 65k we'll see what happens this weekend uh, these alts are just getting hit hard every time Bitcoin starts to besides these NFTs I mean, there's, <laughs> there's something else right now. So, uh, yeah, until the next one, guys. If you're joining after the stream, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one.